Hey everyone, so this vlog is a <laughs> absolutely hilarious uh, kind of up to dating of an exchange I had with former District 3 Councilman Renancy Nadell on Facebook because Nadell dared jump in uh, to the fray regarding the small text based discussion of this absolutely stupid protest that the Alliance of Californians for Community Empowerment has planned that's supposed to end at Phil Tagami's house. You know, Phil is my friend who is the managing partner of California Capital Investment Group and the Oakland Vulcan Oversized Terminal, slated to be built at West Oakland because he rightly won the competition to build the replacement for the Oakland Army Base, which is a long time coming, but I digress. Anyway. Phil partnered with first uh, Kinder Morgan and then Insight Terminal Solutions primarily because he wanted a partner transportation that would follow his desires to have coal hauled in covered cars, which is done, can be done, and is commonly done, right? So... Here comes Nadell shifting from the stupidity, or basically texting about the stupidity of a protest where the Alliance of Californians for Community Empowerment are under the impression that Phil is a billionaire. They actually told that to the San Diego Union Times, okay? A billionaire. Phil is not a billionaire, all right? And, at any rate. But... They're under that impression. So she shifts from that to a discussion of Phil's project, the Oakland Vulcan Oversized Terminal, because of the capability of carrying coal, a commodity that was identified for the project by the city of Oakland under Pat Cashman, because coal is the only commodity worldwide that will be hauled in such bulk, and because it is, that will allow the Oakland Book and Oversized Terminal to basically make enough money to run itself. Makes sense, right? That's why when they were planning the design for the Oakland Book and Oversized Terminal, Phil insisted on building what would be, if it ever got built, the cleanest bulk terminal ever developed and built in the United States. But, you know, that's not enough for people like the former councilman Nancy Nadell. They just want to believe what they want to believe. So, and the reason why I say that is this. She insisted that there were not covered coal cars. And I don't know where these folks are getting this stuff from. You know, they read media that's ran by these think they know but don't know folks who are white, who don't have anyone black on their staffs or any to tell them, well, by the way, you know, you shouldn't be writing things like this or it comes off as racist. They don't want to hear that. They just want somebody to echo what they think that they know, which a lot of the time isn't as very much. I'm being deliberately nasty because I'm tired of this stuff, okay? It's not contributed any good for anybody. Again, I digress. So, um... Councilmember Nadell, or former Councilmember Nadell, insists this is the case. So I make a video follow-up, which is attached to this, and I made previous to this, showing that, by the way, you can contact CSX and order a covered hopper car, as it's called, for use for hauling coal. And it's then I showed entries where it had been done and involved in a number of different transactions, sometimes came up in court battles where someone went to inspect the trains and found, oh, three covered hopper coal cars, among other things. I mean, over the decades, didn't matter if it was, it could be 2013, 1989. Oh, it's common. But, oh my Lord, don't confuse former council member Nancy Nadell with the facts because... And, you know, I regard her as a friend, but I haven't talked to her in a while. And it's just this stuff, okay, where she says, oh, no, no, I'll put it in a video. I don't watch video. This is after I made the video. And I, I, I responded back in text. 
Are you fucking kidding me? And then she just responded back just a second ago. Hold on. She responds back that she would be happy to put it forth without any extraneous nastiness. Just tell the, you know, it's in there. It says CSX. All she has to do is watch the video. Now you would think that someone that got the first, that was the woman, the first woman to get a graduate degree in engineering and geoscience from the University of California, Berkeley. This is in 1981. All right. And yet claims right now she's interested in the science, wouldn't care whether it was expressed on Facebook or YouTube video or Oakland News Now blog, right? All she should be care concerned about is the information. And I've given her the information. Just note that. Because there's a lot of that going around. A lot of it. And the reason why... my She says that it's extraneous nasty is because she's being nasty to me. I just use the term fucking because I'm frustrated with this stuff. Which I consider to be equal to someone saying, just put it here and I don't want to watch your video. What? I mean, this is like, you get the idea.